Welcome to Fingerlink, the training system that teaches you to touch type within a few hours. But is that even possible in just one day with the help of mnemonics? And what does mnemonics actually mean? Allow me to carry out a short experiment. I will speak a sentence for you, and please try to memorize it. No aids are allowed. Two legs sits upon three legs and eats one leg. In comes four legs and runs away with one leg. Up jumps two legs and throws three legs at four legs. Can you repeat that sentence? I'll read the sentence back to you again. Two legs sits upon three legs and eats one leg. In comes four legs and runs away with one leg. Up jumps two legs and throws three legs at four legs. Now to my question. How did you memorize that sentence? Did you learn the sequence of numbers? That is, two, three, one, four, one, two, three, four, one. Or did you use images to support your memory and were you able to memorize the sentence in this way? Great. Then you have already applied mnemonics automatically. Well, how can you learn the sentence quickly and keep it going for a long time? Just combine it with a story. Two legs is a human being. One leg is a ham bone. Three legs is a stool. And four legs is a dog. Two legs sits upon three legs and eats one leg. In comes four legs and runs away with one leg. Up jumps two legs and throws three legs at four legs. If you manage to memorize these pictures, I'm quite sure you wouldn't have any trouble reciting the story now. In order to explain our brain in more detail, I kindly ask you to do the following. Please form two fists with your hands and join them. That's roughly how you can imagine the human brain. We are going to name one fist Mr. Left, who has to work a lot, and the other one is Mr. Right, who does less. This overview shows which impressions and information the brain hemispheres process and store. As you can see, the left hemisphere is mainly responsible for rational activities, such as numbers, logic, etc. In contrast, the right one deals with emotional topics such as pictures, colors, and music. Information processed by the left hemisphere is more easily forgotten, while information received by the right one is more effortlessly entered into your long-term memory. While learning, it is ideal to use both hemispheres. Maybe you have already realized during that test that you aren't using your right hemisphere enough and you need to activate it more, as you already do in your spare time. Brain research has proven that modern-day humans still think in images. We will use this advantage now. Please try to remember your last vacation. It doesn't matter how long ago it was. Did your imagination create memories and images within a very short time when being asked this question? Fingerlink uses the latest findings of brain research. That is, we can concentrate very intensively when relaxed because the brain can then soak up information like a dry sponge. You might have experienced that too, before falling asleep or when waking up or during a relaxing bath you had the best ideas or you remembered something you had forgotten earlier. So, we use the power of visualization and relaxation techniques together with other findings of mnemonics. By the way, memory artists also use this method. Based on a pictorial imagination, they can, for example, memorize a complex number sequence within a very short time. Not only memory artists, but top athletes too make use of these techniques. So why shouldn't you also do so? If you want to achieve high performance, you have to be able to visualize information. After a short introduction on the ergonomic writing posture, we are going to apply exactly that method.
I will therefore hand you over to my charming colleague who will now explain the keyboard and touch typing to you.